you so much for inviting me uh, to this beautiful country and to this event. So I'm very happy to be here in East Timor and I'm very glad to be here today. So, and also happy Independence Day everyone. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Lisipriya Kongujam. I'm 10 years old, Indian, and Indian climate and environmental activist and also the founder of the child movement. So I'm fighting to save our planet and our future. Okay, thank you. It's a uh, very short introduction, but to the point. And you mentioned about uh, you uh, uh, found the climate, uh, children climate movement. Mm -hmm. So when did you start your movement? So in July 2018, when I was just around six years old, I got a chance to attend one uh, to attend a United Nations disaster conference in Mongolia. So I met many world leaders, great scientists, experts, and policymakers there, and also many of the climate activists. So it was a life-changing event for me. And after returning back from Mongolia in July 2018, I have started my own organization called the Child Movement to call our world leaders to take urgent climate action to save our planet and our future. So my so Child Movement does lots of uh, activities like planting lots of trees, massive tree plantations, and also uh, doing cleanliness drive, and also spreading awareness about climate change and also about environmental issues. Uh, and also, I um, have three main demands to our leaders and the government of the world. First is to pass the climate change law as soon as possible from the paper to become action. So, if they pass this climate change law, then um, it would help us to control the carbon emissions and also the greenhouse gases. Second is um, is to include climate education mandatory in every school education curriculum. So if they include climate change as a compulsory subject in our school education curriculum, then it would help to fight the climate change from the grassroots. And also it would help to tell our world leaders by their own children and grandchildren because they can't believe in science and climate change is real. And, and third is to plant minimum 10 trees by each student uh, in India and also in the world. So in India, there are 350 million students. If 350 million students plant minimum 10 trees every year, then we would plant around uh, more than 3.5 billion trees. So trust me, India will be green in after five to 10 years. So we have to plant trees. <laughs> yeah. <Okay>. Yes, <laughs> really uh, brave and the youngest uh, climate uh, activist that we. <laughs> now I'm not the youngest. There are <laughs> many, more. many more. Okay, we know you. <laughs> so you come to Timolese, so you thought that you're the youngest one. Uh, so um, what inspired you really to take action uh, on environmental issues, or what like inspire you uh, to become a climate activist? Mm -hmm. So when I was, uh, so I had born in a small state of India called Manipur, bothered with, um, bordering Myanmar. So it is surrounded by lush green mountains and alluring atmosphere. And also it is full of rich biodiversity. But now many biodiversity hotspots are becoming climate hotspots now. But I have grown up in Bhubaneswar, Odisha. It is also one of the states of India. Again, in, in Odisha, it was hit by Cyclone Titli in 2018 and, and then Cyclone Fani in 2019. So because of the incidents, I have moved to Delhi. It means New Delhi in India. It's another Delhi. Okay. So again, my life became very messy due to the high air pollution level there in in uh, Delhi. So 
it made my life very messy. So all such incidents I met in my young life turns me into a child climate activist. That's really inspiring at the young age because as you know, as you mentioned, we don't really, as a young, we don't really care about climate, but now we have a lot of uh, evidence in our life that now it's not climate change, but it's a climate crisis. So it's really um, important to address this issue. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's move to the next one. Um, so what major challenges that you uh, have you encountered as environmental activist or climate activist and how did you manage them? What are the challenges that you encountered during your work as activist? So as you know, I have told that I have been uh, requesting many governments and leaders of the world uh, to put climate education compulsory in every school education. Uh, I took many risks by protesting uncountable times in various places of the world, including the Parliament House of India. And finally, um, many, um, many, so, um, so many states of India has uh, started uh, has started teaching climate education in their school curriculum and also uh, in many other countries in many European countries and uh, and Italy is the first one to put climate education compulsory and also in many and also in America too and like. Mm, and also, uh, and also, I would like to tell you all that uh, Delhi University in India has started uh, has started making all the students there, all the students that are studying there, made uh, made made them plant one tree every year to pass their final examinations. Uh, that's really great uh, idea and movement as well. Uh, even it's, uh, as we know, education is the most important um, way to overcome everything. But um, like small action can impact, uh, can make a big, big difference. difference. So yeah, that's really great. I think uh, this is uh, all from me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give uh, the opportunity to the participants to ask a few questions. And this is the rule. Please uh, first raise your hand and then state your name and your questions. And we answer one question and then answer. Like it's like conversation. So okay. yeah, one uh, questions. Please raise your hand if you have question. My name is Zezu and it's just nice to meet you here. Nice to meet you too. So uh, you are saying that you you're, you're create your child movement. I have a simple question. Like in East Timor, Timor Timorese youth like all there have many patients to the climate change, but as you are a little younger, how can you convince others to build your that your your movement? Thank you. Like uh, when you were all kid, or even now, you request your parents to buy me candies, toys, dresses like that. So we can also convince them to plant trees, to not use vehicles, uh, which is. Um, producing uh, carbon emissions and uh, like we can request them like that <laughs> like we used to request them like please give me some candies <laughs> and we can also uh, convince people like give them awareness that we should not show garbage or plastics on streets oceans rivers seas or any other places and also uh, we can also do protest but you should keep that last Okay, but and also I don't want, and also I'm not in any violence like that, and and also you can start by planting trees and even if I'm s small, uh, I never uh, listen to the people who tell me that you are too small to make a difference, you can't do anything, you're very small. I never listen to them and I never give up. Yeah, and you should also not. Just try your best, do your best, and never give up. And uh, you should try your best until you achieve your goal. You should not stop. So you can uh, do like that. Uh, yeah. And uh, there are more claps, more than more questions. <laughs> OK, thank you for the time. Uh, I'm Eugenia. So I have a question for you. So my question is, 
What excites you to be a climate activist? And how can you manage your time between your studies or school's assignment and your organization's ch child's protection? So I manage these both uh, things equally, my activism and my education equally, because they're both uh, important, right? Without them, we can't make a life. So uh, I manage them equally and also uh, my mom didn't support me at all when I, w when I started my movement, my activism, but, um, but later when I told, she, because, uh, because she was worried about my education, she was worried about my future. But later, when I convinced her that don't worry, I will, I will all, I will always. I promise you that I will always manage these both things um, equally, and I did. So my mom, uh, like, now is with me. Yeah, she supports me, and also, um, and also, I take the programs and events in my free time, free time, and like in Sundays, holidays, second Saturdays, and my school holidays and some vacations like that. So, and also I take the important uh, government events or any other events which is very important uh, like like in my, in the evening times. So yeah, that that's how I, mm, that's how I manage all these things. And uh, it is very important to go to school every day, right? Because if we don't go to school one day, there will be more pending homeworks, more pending works. So, like, I, I attend those programs and events in my freedom, in my free time. Any other questions? You can ask anything. Thank you. Uh, my name is Zito. Great to have you here. I want to ask you, uh, when you first arrived in Timor-Leste and passed through the road, what do you think about Timor-Leste? It is a very beautiful country. I love it, and and also I I arrived in date uh, in date eighteen in date eighteen, and also I will go to India uh, in day twenty second. Okay, so I'm very glad to be here in the Asia's youngest uh, nation, and I really love the story of how East Timor got independent how uh, people sacrifice their lives and how they fought together for many many years to get the freedom and overwhelmingly it's a great opportunity it's a great lifetime opportunity for me to meet those uh, freedom fighters of East Timor and I'm very happy to be here and also, this is inspiration to everyone, and mostly to the compressed countries and the compressed people. So this will give them hope to fight for their freedom, for their independence. And also, when your country is in danger, you should always try to help. Okay? That's your job. Because you're living in your country. <laughs> so, I manage my voice through social media and yeah because it's a powerful tool for me i i i i choose social media i post um i post the things that i want to tell to our leaders and also to the people of the world that i want to tell them to know about the things that i i want to tell them and also uh we can view and also you can also start by demonstrations Small demonstrations and also, uh, and also by protesting. Uh, but but as I told you, you should keep it at the last. Yeah. So I want to tell you uh, that East Timor is very vulnerable to climate change, and also uh, India is um, India is doing the best to solve the climate crisis um, under the. Under the visionary leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi ji. So, but rich countries must do more because they're more responsible for it. India is only responsible for only 6.8% of global carbon emissions. 
But we had faced 300 climate disasters, 80,000 deaths, and over 1 billion people affected through climate change. So this is not fair. And rich countries must invest more in uh, developing nations and also in undeveloped nations. How you feel and difficult you have when you demonstrate to encourage another, another people to care about environment? So if I want to encourage myself, then I will tell, I will keep always in my mind that never give up your hope, never, and always try your best, uh, and and also uh, I will fight until I achieve my goal. I will I will face a lot of challenges until I achieve my goal, and you should also keep that in your mind. And also your little things, our little things can make a huge difference. So I con so I contact many. Uh, schools, even my own school that I study, it's Ryan International School, that, and also I tell to my friends and the families to do a huge clam strike, or, or we can even put us together, or we can plant many trees together. And also, uh, if it's fine, then uh, after after the question answers and everything, can we do a, a climate strike? Climate strike means uh, like we can do a slogan, right? Yeah, so, <laughs> so we can do the demonstration like that. And even now, I'm, I'm going to do with you all. Hello, I'm Aldo. And here I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. I know you have, uh, since you, ha you, you have been arriving in Timor-Leste, I assume that you have seen the environmental in Timor-Leste. Yeah. So here's my question. Mm -hmm. Do you have, a, have any suggestion for the youth and Timorese to fight against the climate change in Timor Leste. the message. Yeah. So I would like to give a small message to all the children and also the adults of the world and and mostly for Timor Leste, uh, for East Timor. So children must tell the parents that they should walk if it's nearby or they can use the bicycles, and they should uh, also tell the parents that they should not cut trees, they should plant more trees because big people are more responsible because they have uh, like more knowledge in their minds. Yeah, and also um, they, should, uh, they should not throw garbage or plastic on streets, oceans, rivers, seas or any other places. We should plant more trees, we should not use single-use plastic at our homes and we should uh, give more uh, knowledge, awareness to the people to know more about the climate crisis, climate change happening in the world. We have to fight now or our planet will be dying soon. Our leaders need to take the urgent climate actions. So do you, have you ever planted a sapling or a tree, a plant? So the participants here are the com coming from the youth group uh, who have uh, uh, passion about climate so that's why we invited them to be here and to hear a lot from you so we have um, plans and program to plant trees um, I think uh, three times a year or cleaning a uh, beach and also uh, have uh, seminars to raise awareness and last time we have um, our um, big really big um, event which is how can we influence uh, young generation or uh, by using uh, arts, uh, like how can they build their rubbish rubbish to some arts. So yeah, recycling. we have recycling things and also theater, how can they uh, raise awareness through theater. So That's yeah. That's great. Thank so you. <laughs> Here we have uh, Timorese Youth Initiative for Development and we have Laudato Sea Animators and also uh, El Koi, Local Conference of Youth. Uh, we did that last year. The, so we also uh, submit our um, youth statement to the um, uh, climate, change, uh, climate of, uh, Conference of Parties last year. So I think, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Any other question, right. please? Please ask many questions as you can. You only have uh, one chance. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 
my name is Antero. In Timor-Leste, related to what you say uh, just now, one of the problems in Timor-Leste is climate change that happen as uh, to us every year or over here. Uh, so how can you Timor, Timor Timorists can be immediately controlled climate change to be normal? What ca what is your mechanism to us to being as Timorese people to be controlled uh, control our climate change that happen in Timor Leste? Like uh, planting trees is the ultimate solution to fight the climate change. As I told you, plant trees, plant trees every time when I give uh, any answer of my question, right? So as it is the ultimate solution to fight the climate change. And we all should plant trees. And also, planting trees is not only the, solu it's not only the solution, but it's one of the solutions. And we have to do it more. We have to stop cutting trees. We have to stop polluting the rivers and uh, lakes and the ocean seas and many more things. We have to also like, we have to also not uh, like after drinking uh, something from a bottle or a can or after drinking some water from the water bottles or after eating some chips, we throw it away. We don't throw it in the dustbin many times. We do it, right? So that's bad. That's bad. Very bad. And like the chewing gum packets, we throw it in the sea, and and the fish eats it, and they are dying due to it. So that's very bad. And the fish that that eats it, we uh, we catch it, and then we eat that fish. So that's that's bad for that's bad for the fishes and also for the humans too. It's example, and this is happening with like every every person uh, and also uh, nature don't need us, need us but we need nature nature has gifted us to this uh, to this planet called earth to live with other millions of uh, species in this world so uh, but we are destroying it even without thinking for a second so that's very bad I'm very sad and uh, like we have to take urgent climate action or else we all will be dying soon. Even the animals are hopeless, voiceless, but they're suffering from it because of us. So we have to do it all together. We have to be together in this fight. Not only one person or, uh, or some persons can make a, uh, can make a big change. Uh, they can make a big change, but uh, all the people living in this world have to fight together to make a big, big, big difference. To make our planet more greener, more safer, and more cleaner to live. That's all we want, right? But we're polluting it. We're making it the opposite. Opposite. We're making it more better. Like, now, uh, Earth is called as the blue planet, right? It will be called as the black planet. It can be called. If we destroy it, destroy it, and destroy it. So that's what it's happening, going to be happened. So we have to take urgent climate action. Uh, my question is, uh, what are you going to see yourself, your visions, that for the next uh, five years for fighting uh, climate change that is such a big issue? So. I have a dream where there are more bicycles on roads instead of more motor vehicles. I have a dream where there are no coal power plants and thermal power plants and replace it by clean solar energy. I have a dream where all the children living in this world have the clean air to breathe, the clean water to drink and the clean plant to live. Not only children, the youths and the people too. So asking clean air to breathe, clean water to drink, and the clean plant to live is all our basic rights. So uh, empty false promises can make, uh, can solve the climate, uh, global climate crisis. So our leaders and uh, we have to act more on it and we have to take urgent climate action now. Okay, thank you. Welcome. So yeah, I have one question. So um, about your uh, child uh, movement, mm -hmm. is it only in India or around the world? Like, 
It's you have a platform country. like it's for every country in this world, not only India. You can join my movement yes. uh, by by doing lots of things. Uh, even you don't do it with me, you can do it yourself, and yeah, that's how you can join my movement. You can do like uh, plant trees, and also you can clean the rivers and lakes. So you're doing right. Yeah. Yeah. So you're in my movement. <laughs> <laughs> so like you have any platform like. Uh, to join you like what you said uh, you uh, inspired others through social media mm -hmm. like do you have any um, yeah platform I have the child movement in, uh, page, uh, page profile in 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 mm -hmm. face in face Facebook. in Twitter, in Twitter, Twitter. Okay. Facebook you can find it there okay <laughs> please and you can see what I'm doing yeah you're doing yeah. and everything mm -hmm. If you uh, have any uh, anything that you want to share with us, please do. Like uh, you have you've, uh, you've said a lot, but anything that you really want us to hear from you. Okay, so I would like to give. Uh, a s I would like to tell something to everyone living in this world, from my little heart. So we all know that we are facing a pandemic on one side and like floods, droughts, heat waves, cyclones, locusts and forest fires on another side. So now this is the time to wake up. This is the time to open up your eyes. This is the time to send your children and grandchildren to fight for their own survival and for their own future the best gift parents can give to their children is not a beautiful house expensive cars or a lot of money the best gift parents can give to their children is a beautiful green planet to give this planet you have to change yourself if you can change yourself then you can change your family if you can change your family, then you can change your neighborhood. If you can change your neighborhood, then you can change your community. If you can change your community, then you can change your state. If you can change your state, then you can change your country. If you can change your country, then you can change the whole world change means empowerment empowerment means independent independent means freedom freedom is when you can protect your children's future culture and health freedom is when you can read and write freedom is when you're out of hunger freedom is when no one can discriminate you on the basis of caste, creed, color, sex, or any other differences. Freedom is when we are all together in this fight. So fight for your freedom. Thank you. Really a powerful message to all of us. Um, so uh, here the key message is um, from yourself so and your parents, because as a young, let she showed us as a young, we need guidance from our parents. So our parents is the also a play important role in, in our lives. And also, uh, you have to, as a young, also you have to equally divide your time, uh, like time management, also your priority. You have to have a time management and priority in order to uh, do everything as well. And make a change, empowerment, independence, and freedom, which is really a powerful message to all of us. Hopefully, this um, conversation, uh, we can take one message to ourselves and to our family, to our neighborhood, com community, even, even our country and around the world. Um, it's really inspiring <laughs> hearing your um, movement, hearing your actions towards the climate change. And we do really need a young generation like yourself and coming generations to uh, make impact in our environment. And also, I would like to tell you all that age doesn't matter to make a difference. Round of applause. <laughs> this is a powerful message to all of us. So. Thank you. Um, 
Do you have any questions before we close our talk show? Like, or, or even you want to give any message to her so, so that she can remember Timur Leste. Yes. <laughs> like a powerful message and anything that you can give her. Thank you very much, Lucifer. I think um, you are the spirit of change in the world. So, um, <laughs> what we would like to hear from you is your message is very powerful. And we hope that our youngest Timorese can be one of them can become like you to voice up our climate issues to the world. So thank you very much for being here and then you are the spirit of change. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I'm host welcome. Uh, I, want, I have something to tell you. So it's my f when you come here, arrive in East Timor, uh, there's a lot of people share your Facebook page. So I am so uh, surprised because you are still uh, like, 10 years old and I'm shocked. So my, me my message to you is that uh, we have a great leader in front, of, in front of us here. So keep go and set the world, make it uh, the better future. What do we, do we are talking here, go and keep go and never give up. That's all my, That's I, and also don't forget our country is Timor when you, you, <laughs> You achieve your goal, come here again and yes, also yes, yes, spread course. some issues. Thank you. Um, uh, but I just want to say that this is, uh, again, such an uh, inspirational uh, uh, talk today. Mm -hmm. So we hope that uh, our young leaders and uh, children also inspired by you when this, uh, because we also have uh, live streaming on Facebook. So hopefully, um, all of our followers can um, be motivated and also inspired by your story at uh, such a young age. And also, um, hopefully, they can influence others they, through, uh, from their family, their neighborhood, and then their country. And also, like, have the rights, their rights also in fighting the climate change. And once again, thank you very much for uh, being here. Uh, we are, like, very grateful and honored <laughs> uh, to have you here. And then, um, good luck mm -hmm. to you and your future endeavors. And also, hope you enjoy your time, Timur Leste, and also Timur Leste. Hopefully, Timur Leste treats you well. The appreciation for the speakers. Because uh, we appreciate mom, because mom really supportive and uh, accompany our Lucipria to be uh, being here and we really appreciate your um, dedication, your hard work to raise uh, Lucipria to be who she is right now. So thank you very much. So first of all, please give the bucket of flower blue color to Lucipria. It represents the pure ocean. It's yes. pure ocean, blue color. <laughs> yes, that's why I ch we choose the blue color. And also, yeah. please give the bucket with pink colors to Lucy Priya's mom. It represents love and caring for from her mom. So the slogan is, "I say climate, you say action." So I will say. Climate, you say action. Climate, you all will say action. And we will say it two times, and then I say climate, you say justice. Climate, yeah, like that. And also, what do we want? You all will tell climate action, and I will say when do we want it? You will say now. So what do we want? Climate action. And when do we want it now? So. Is this an argument or just the start of it? Either way, I don't wanna be a part of it. Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this. I can't be picking up the pieces, fixing scars from this. Is this an argument or just the start of it? I wanna drive away so I can be so far from it. I wanna find a place where no one.